<laughs> All right, so we're back to the only game where you can impregnate more people than Genghis Khan. It's real lives. More DNA, damn it. I'm actually really glad that we were born as a boy because today I have a plan. The last time we ended up having so many children and getting pregnant so much that our uterus eventually lost the will to live. Our limitation was our own life force, but if we're the male, we don't have to worry about that. So today I want to see exactly how many women we can get pregnant and I also want to, you know, actually not live in the gutter for once. As usual, it's time to press the button and find out whether or not my parents will end up killing me within the first six years of my life. I'm not gonna lie, I appreciate that the unemployment rate of my population is 48%, but the primary school enrollment is 8196%. Oh, this is good. As usual, we're on the absolute brink of poverty. You were born today. What do you think or feel about this? I already hate my life. All right, now luckily, my teenage parents don't seem to have any health problems yet. However, our diet is starvation and our home is temporary, which means that we're living in a box fort and we're eating, you know, like maybe the ketchup packets that we managed to find from McDonald's. Our entire net worth is $45. Oh, there's, if I can survive this and become a millionaire, I will be absolutely amazed. You always know you're in for a rough time when your family average income bar barely registers. <laughs> you died at age one, fuck, brutal. All right, next male victim, please. Okay, this is exciting. We're a boy born in Russia this time. Hopefully a lifetime of fighting bears and drinking vodka has made my parents strong. My God, this is the best start I've ever had. We have two computers and a cell phone. I'm sickly as hell, but with a medium socioeconomic status, maybe my parents can afford to actually give me food rather than throwing me in a dumpster. Good news, both my parents have jobs. Bad news, my mother has mental disorders again. What do you think or feel about this? Please let me live more than one year. You've come down with a case of food poisoning. Here we go. You have a new baby brother. God damn it. Mom, dad, I've played this game many times. Do you know what the hardest part is? Getting fed. Do you know what makes getting fed harder? When you have more children. Your mother has syphilis. If there's one thing I learn in this game, do you know what syphilis leads to? Unemployment. Oh damn, mom just got a new job and she's dropping the money down. We were rolling around Russia in three cars or bears or whatever now. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna do great in school so that we can get a good job so that we can impregnate lots of women. Never mind, we're not gonna get a good job because our family just lost all their employment. Russians eat their main meal in the mid afternoon. Unless you're part of my family, then you might not eat at all. Shortages of food and services are common in Russia. Yeah, I know. The last time I had a cat, it got stolen. The last time I had a fish, it died in one year. Let's go for a mouse. What? In the Christ are these names. Repetit, Nipachit, Leepachit. Is this, is this real? Is this a Russian thing? These are all so good. I'll just pick this one. Deepatit. <laughs> Deepatit, I love you, my mouse friend. Please don't get stolen in like eight months. I want to eventually be the CEO of something. So we're going to start early making shoes. Your mouse, Deepatit, died due to old age. It was like one year old. What the hell is this? Is this like in Mother Russia, the mice age seven times faster? Deep a teat, no. New romance. I just realized all these different girls that I'm going to be with, I'm, I'm not going to be able to pronounce any of their names. Your parents do not approve of this girl. Mom, dad, look at her friggin' stats. Your parents say they will kick you out at age 13, you bastards. Look at this girl. This girl's a failure compared to the last one. How about this one? Oh, you're not good with her either. Mom, dad, this girl's name is like 39 letters long. Just accept her. God, I'm trying the shotgun approach. I've been shot down about 60 times so far. Kids, this is important. Never give up because eventually some girl will say yes. Say hello, say hello to our winner, Sokolova. Oh, I got a 5% pay raise. Your lover has avoided drinking alcohol. I can't say that I will do the same. All right, it's a slow process, but we can now be a farmer. Got that raise. You've been drafted. Try to buy your way out. You will have to serve in the military or go to prison. Will you serve? How long's the prison sentence? Oh, whatever. All right, child number one. Got it. Goodbye. 
Your parents do not approve. I live in the barracks. Suck it. Try for child and romance. I want to see how long we can get this line over here. Yeah, I just realized something. There's no limit to the amount of times that you can do this, which is fundamentally impossible because I don't think I would have this much time. Who knows? Maybe I would. Okay, we've had like five romances so far this year. I think we should take a break and continue on with the military. Your parents have deleted you from their will because of your relationship. It's fine. My parents have never done anything for me in this game so far. 90% of my life events are just my guy's self-confidence being destroyed as women turn him down over and over again. I got deleted from the will twice so far. All right, done with the military. Time for college. Would you like to purchase a pet? Yeah, how about another mouse so I can have a fantastic name? All right, heap deep welcome to the family. Oh, damn, I could become a business professional? Screw you, mom and dad. Look at the money. Hell yeah. I just got 1.6 million unexpectedly. Will you share your good fortune with others you know in your community? Hell no. Your parents do not approve. I really don't care because I just got done winning the Russian lottery. Your mouse heap deep died due to old age. Yes, apparently mice only have like a one year life expectancy in Russia. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. What's interesting is I've broken the game somehow because the names are just starting to be erased from the romances. <laughs> hey, bye. Okay, apparently you have to be with them for at least one year to get a name. All right, we're going to college for friggin' business. All right, we've completed a year in our relationship, which means, here we go. You've been having difficulties in your relationship. Would you like to end the relationship now? Not yet. Before you end the relationship, you must do this and then this. I have a question. Like, do any of these kids ever show up? At this point, we have romanticized so many letters in the alphabet. I kind of wonder if eventually, like, your wife can kill you because I have a feeling that's going to happen fairly soon. Your lover has become clinically depressed. I'm about to become clinically depressed. At least my daughter's in good health. Graduate school, business admin, government security forces have arrested you. You have been asked to publicly confess and denounce your human rights actions with or without your confession you risk grave consequences will you confess and possibly endanger other i don't have any friends how did this happen all the children i've had have finally caught up with me it's some sort of human rights violation no i'm not confessing screw you you have good enough test scores to apply for vocational school i'm gonna be going to prison for 500 years or i might get tortured to death you've lost your job as a business professional yeah no sh okay I've got my business degree and I haven't been put in prison yet. We're moving, like now. Do you really want to change country? Yeah, yeah, I do. United States, here I come. Miami Beach, we did it. My mother just had a stroke and now she's clinically depressed. I don't know how I know this because I live in Miami Beach now and they've kicked me out of the house and they wrote me out of the will. Oh damn, I'm making $10,000 a month and I got a 4% raise. Would you accept the gift of a fish from your brother? Yes, maybe it'll live slightly longer in Miami. Congratulations, fish, your name is Dilbert. Your daughter has been removed from school. What the hell, why? My diet is lavish and my home is luxurious. What the hell's wrong with my daughter? Whatever, I guess she's the housemaid now. So, I'm trying to find a new girlfriend in Miami Beach. And the first one that I came across is Glaskova Igorovich. I feel like this is not typical of Miami. <laughs> you are suffering from severe malnutrition. How? Seriously, how? Here, give me the give me the biggest diet I can possibly have. Your fish Dilbert is sick. Even with all the money in the world, I can't keep a pet for more than a year. <laughs> more relationships, damn it. Ah, now it's Babai Ina. Tim, oh, whatever. I never knew that there was such a plethora of Russian women over here in Miami Beach. Your father had a stroke. Now both my parents have had strokes. Jesus Christ. Hey, mom. Hey, dad. Uh, your son is uh, making $12,000 a month. Kind of wishing that you didn't write him out of the will now, aren't you? All right, we got to keep the con train moving here. There it is. All right, we're going into real estate. This line is so long. I appreciate that in the United States, getting involved in a lot of relationships isn't some sort of weird arrestable offense. Being a real estate broker sucks. I'm going back to working for someone else. 
I don't even know how many this is at this point. I like how my parents are still deleting me from their will like 15 years later. I also appreciate that none of these children have ever found their way to me except for my original daughter who got kicked out of school at the age of like 13. Real quick, I want you to see what I am prepared to go through to find my mom. My mom just died of a stroke. I guess now she can't write me out of the will anymore. 40 years old, still got it. Oh, a school administrator. Nope. Figure she wouldn't want anything to do with me. Stroke number two for dad. You have run afoul of the government due to your political activism and has lost your job. I'm pissing the government off no matter where I go. I've got so many degrees I can get a job in an instant. Give me that raise. This is legit the longest I've had in a romantic relationship and it's only because I was busy getting hounded by the government and I forgot. I'm interested that it always says successfully ended romance. What happens when you unsuccessfully end the romance? On the plus side, I'm already almost older than I've been in any other playthrough I've ever done. All right, we're rolling right along here. Government security forces have arrested you. You've been asked to publicly confess and denounce your human rights actions again. I'm still not confessing, you go to hell. You've been having difficulties in your relationship. Is it because I keep going to prison? This is the first time I've been alive long enough to have grandchildren. I've made so much money I can finish out the rest of my days as a thief now, a 60 year old thief. Your parents have deleted you from their will to disapprove your romantic relationships or engagement. I'm 61 years old and my mom's already dead. My daughter's husband just had a stroke. Apparently this runs in the family. I don't know how I've managed to make it this long. Being a thief has been the happiest thing in my life. I've lost my job as a thief. How? I was working for myself. I was so bad at my job, I fired myself. I'm not giving up this dream. If you watch your expenses, you can retire and have enough money to live to age 100. I have over a million dollars? Absolutely. I have a stroke. <laughs> How come the minute I'm not getting my ass kicked, I have a stroke? I'm almost dead. Hold on, I need to see something. Hold on, since I'm almost dead, I'm taking out every loan I possibly can. Took 1.3 million dollars from a family loan. Hold on, how many, how many times can you do this? I've got almost 4 million dollars on hand. Screw this. We're picking the best of everything. It totally worked. I just died from an opportunistic infection at age 75 with like three and a half million dollars in debt. We lived like kings, moved over to Miami, got arrested a gajillion times for our crazy relationship proclivities, and damn it, we died with a mountain of debt. This is what I'm talking about. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Real Lives. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.